Finally, moving on to plastics as the last monomers and polymers. So we've done amino acids and proteins. We've done um, we've done uh, sugars, so monosaccharides going to disaccharides and carbohydrates, um, and we've had uh, lipids, uh, which is a little bit more complicated um, as far as the monomers are concerned. There's not really monomers for that one. Um, and so what you need to be able to do is be able to break those uh, double bonds up, convert it to this. So you need to be able to put the brackets and an end to, to tell it's a polymer. The question could very well ask to um, draw it out into three. Uh, so or two, well, if it's three, there'll be six. Uh, and then uh, they'll just leave that there with the H's uh, just to double check um, that you know what that means. Uh, but I don't know what the question will be. Exactly, but they're bound to do uh, some sort of question like that. Okay, so moving on, uh, these are the monomers and polymers that um, uh, you'll be requested to know. So the syllabus says describe, you have to describe the reactions of all of these uh, polymers from these monomers. So I would memorize uh, those monomers. You may be asked to reproduce them. I know that's a little nasty for this one. This one you can assume they'll give you uh, two chemicals and you just have to pull out the water or so forth from that. Okay, so um, here is an example of uh, just joining these things up. Uh, so that's addition, polymerization. Um, I would try doing that or maybe working backwards from here and working out what the polymer is in these ones um, as practice. So the low density polyethene there is branching there. So that means that the chains are stopping the stacking. So they're decreasing the surface area and therefore there's less dispersion forces. Uh, so there you get this low density, low melting point uh, flexibility. And so the opposite occurs for high density polyethene. There's, because they are, there's no branching, they can compact and, and have a greater surface area and stick together much better due to the dispersion forces. Now you also need to know isotactic, um, atactic, and syndiotactic. Um, so isotactic is all on the same side. Um, atactic is random. Uh, so there are various words with the A uh, in front of them that mean uh, a lack of. Um, theist and atheist. Um, students could think of some other words and I can't think of them now. Uh, so that's just the, re the lack of. Um, so it's just random on either side. So this one has the least... Um, the lowest melting point. These ones stack together the best, uh, and these ones stack together the second best. Syndio tactic, um, tactic is uh, slightly less better close um, stacking than this one over here. So this one is uh, first as high as melting point is concerned. Uh, this one will be second and third.